The deputy chair of the Russian Security Council Dmitry Medvedev stated that Moscow has the capacity to annex Georgia's separatist territories South Ossetia and Abkhazia. He hinted at the possibility of officially recognizing these regions as independent entities. It's noteworthy that Medvedev served as Russia's president during the military conflict with Georgia in 2008. In an article, Medvedev drew comparisons between the ongoing war instigated by the Kremlin in Ukraine and past events in Georgia. He asserted that the Western nations have failed to heed the lessons from their most stupid and shameful mistakes in Georgia. He warned that they would face significant consequences for repeating these errors in Ukraine, particularly by endorsing what he referred to as freaks and the most useless, most manipulable and talentless politicians. When discussing Georgia, he asserted that the Western nations were actively ramping up the pressure again. He specifically addressed the increase in anti-Russian sentiment in Georgia, which he described as a nonsense, a deformity, terrible disease, but which is luckily treatable through military means. He alluded to discussions about Georgia's potential NATO membership as an attempt to establish another potential source of conflict at our borders, in addition to the situation in Ukraine. He wrote, the idea of joining Russia is still popular in Abkhazia and South Ossetia, and it could be easily realized if the convincing reasons to do so were to emerge. In an official statement released by the Georgian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, it was stated that Medvedev's remarks reflect an ongoing policy of occupation and constitute another assault on Georgia's sovereignty and territorial integrity. The statement further urged the Russian Federation to adhere to the principles of international law and honor the ceasefire agreement of August 2008. The ministry reiterated Georgia's dedication to the peaceful resolution of conflicts. Over the years, Georgia has consistently conveyed its desire to become a member of both NATO and the European Union. In 2008, a national referendum demonstrated strong support for Georgia's NATO membership, with 77% of voters in favor. Following the referendum, the Transatlantic Military Alliance released statements affirming Georgia's eventual membership, but the progress toward accession has encountered obstacles and has not advanced significantly since that time. According to Medvedev, with Russia currently engaged in a full-scale war in neighboring Ukraine, Georgia's potential accession to NATO would be viewed as a move to establish an additional source of tension in close proximity to our borders. South Ossetia and Abkhazia were two autonomous regions within Georgia with significant pro-Russian populations. They had declared independence from Georgia in the early 1990s following the collapse of the Soviet Union. Tensions between Georgia and the separatist regions had been simmering for years. In the lead-up to the conflict, there were sporadic clashes and incidents along the borders. The conflict erupted in early August 2008 when Georgia launched a military offensive to regain control over South Ossetia. This move prompted a swift and overwhelming Russian military response. Russian forces crossed into South Ossetia, and heavy fighting ensued. Russia swiftly responded to Georgia's offensive by sending its military forces into South Ossetia. The conflict quickly expanded beyond South Ossetia, with Russian forces entering Georgia. After several days of intense fighting, Russia and Georgia agreed to a ceasefire brokered by French President Nicolas Sarkozy who held the rotating presidency of the European Union. Under the ceasefire agreement, both sides were supposed to pull back to their pre-war positions, and Russian troops were to withdraw from Georgia. Following the ceasefire, Russia recognized the independence of South Ossetia and Abkhazia. This move was widely condemned by the international community, which largely continued to recognize these regions as part of Georgia. After the ceasefire, Russian military forces remained in South Ossetia and Abkhazia, leading to ongoing tensions and concerns about the de facto annexation of these regions by Russia. In 2022, South Ossetia announced its intentions to conduct a referendum regarding potential incorporation into Russia, a proposition that Georgia vehemently opposed. 
The former leader of the region Anatoly Bibilov stated that South Ossetia was engaged in consultations with Russia regarding the possibility of such a referendum. He expressed his belief that merging with Russia was their long-term strategic objective and the path they intended to follow. Georgian authorities strongly condemned the idea of a referendum, deeming it unacceptable, as they consider South Ossetia to be an occupied territory belonging to Georgia. Ned Price, the spokesperson for the U.S. State Department, asserted that the United States would not recognize any outcomes resulting from efforts by Russia or its proxies to partition sovereign Georgian territory. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov clarified that Moscow had not initiated any legal actions on this matter. Subsequently, South Ossetian authorities altered their plans. Moscow responded positively to the decision to postpone the proposed referendum on joining Russia, while both sides pledged to explore other unspecified avenues of integration.